To become proficient in arthroscopic surgery, one must practice, practice, practice. Having access to a shoulder model and not tying posts is very important. This is a SAM model. Practice a lot before you get into live surgical action. The two ends of the suture are called limbs. The limb that the knot will be tied around is called the post or post limb. The other end is called the loop limb, and this is the limb which is tied into a knot around the post. Knots are then pushed down the post by the knot pusher, which advances the knot. Knots can be classified as non-sliding or sliding knots. Dr. Ireland here demonstrates the non-sliding types, beginning with the surgeon's knot and half hitches. A surgeon's knot where basically we have three underpasses um, on your base knot and then do three reverse half hitching alternating posts. So you want to be equal in your post and your limb. And so we'll do an under and you push this down each time with your knot pusher. So your knot pusher is going to be on your post. You're pushing it down here, keeping tension here. And then we're going to do another under. And again, push this down, keeping tension all the while. And then we'll do another under, and that's our base knot. And then we'll do reverse half hitches on alternating posts. So we'll go over. Now this is our, our uh, wrapping limb. We'll go over there, and then we'll come under, switching our post back and then we'll come over. And now we have a secure knot. This is a demonstration of the alternating half hitches. These are very important in knot tying. First of all, a half hitch is thrown, either overhand or underhand, depending on the knot. Subsequently, an alternating half hitch on an alternating post is done and slid down in the joint, securing against the first. You again alternate your post and then do a half hitch in the opposite direction from the previous. Three half hitches allow for good security. The demonstration here just shows further half hitches, emphasizing the point of alternating posts while alternating the throws of half hitches, demonstrating good half hitch knot tying. This is a demonstration of Nikki's knot, a modified taut line hitch. The post limb is one half the length of the loop limb. An initial overhand throw is placed, followed by another overhand throw. A final overhand throw is then placed behind the first two. This is lightly secured on your post limb, and with back tensioning, the knot is slid into the joint, securing the tissues. The knot pusher would assist in pushing this knot into the joint. Subsequently, while maintaining tension, an underhand throw is placed on your post limb. You then alternate posts, doing an overhand throw on the new post limb and a final underhand throw, thus securing the new knot. Next, Dr. Ireland demonstrates the Weston knot. So the Weston knot, my post is in my left hand, it's blue, wrapping limb here. Bring this down where the post is half of the other suture. Bring it over my thumb, over the wrapping limb, back through, through the loop. And then as you watch the suture come down, it's a sliding knot, right? So we're going to even up our post and wrapping limb, come down to the base, and as I'm pulling on it, you can see it seats itself. And with suture, it pretty much seats itself all the way. You can certainly use a knot pusher if you want to. Again, you don't have to worry about the tension right now, but you want to put the tension on the post, and you can seat it like that. But then to flip it, all you do is pull on your wrapping limb, and that locks the suture. So this is a sliding suture, and now it's locked. You do want to put half hitches on it, but you don't have to worry about knot security. So with my half hitches, I'll go over, under on one limb, and then switch to the wrapping limb, and go over and under. And then there's your finished knot. 
This is a demonstration of the SMC knot named for the Seoul Medical Center. The post limb is one half the length of the loop limb. Initially, both sutures are pinched between the index finger and thumb and an initial loop made over the thumb and both sutures. A second throw is placed just around the post limb. The loop limb is then brought up through the loop made by the loop limb, initially around both the post and the loop limb. Without tensioning this knot on the post, the knot is slid into the joint and subsequently tightens against the soft tissues. Maintaining tension on your post limb, tension is placed on the loop limb. This subsequently tightens the knot, essentially locking it, securing it against the tissues. This is the Duncan loop. As before, the post limb is one half the length of the loop limb. Grabbing both sutures with your thumb and index finger, the initial loop is placed over your thumb. Subsequently, three throws over the suture are carried out. The end of the loop limb is then brought down through the loop initially formed around the thumb. The knot is then tightened using a back tensioning technique as demonstrated here, after which, pulling on the post while pushing with your knot pusher on the post, the knot is advanced into the joint. Maintaining tension on your post, an initial overhand throw or an underhand loop is placed on the post limb and tightened down into the joint with past pointing. The post and loop limb are then switched and on the new post an underhand throw or overhand loop is placed on the post and pushed down into the joint with past pointing. This is followed by switching the post limb again and doing a final overhand throw on the new post limb, tensioning this with past pointing. 